Here we go. <laughs> Kai Havertz, mwah, Bayer Leverkusen's generational Germanic superstar en route to southwest London. My glasses are steaming up. I'm so overexcited. What's happening, everybody? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host, Jan. I hope you are all doing well, mate. I really do hope that. Welcome back to Chelsea News. I've done a Chelsea News video today. But really, let's be real, man. I had to react to the three journalistic gurus of football media coming together and announcing the agreement between Chelsea Football Club, Bayer Leverkusen, for the transfer of Kai Havertz. Seriously, my glasses are incredibly steamy. That's right, we even got a here we go from Fabrizio Romano. A deal has been done. I need to chill. We're going to talk about Kai Havertz as a player, what he's going to bring to Chelsea, etc, etc. Of course, there's not been a club announcement, but Yanaga Fjordoft, or however you pronounce it, Christian Falk of Sport, Build, Fabrizio Romano have all reported on the agreement. Chelsea and Bayer Leverkusen have been negotiating quietly behind the scenes for some time now for the transfer of Kai Havertz to Chelsea. We know he would, uh, he's got an agreement with Chelsea in terms of a contract, but it was really getting the transfer over the line between the two clubs. Oh yeah, if you enjoy daily football content, I'd urge you guys to subscribe to this channel, Football Therapy, because I upload every single day with content regarding the Blues. You might enjoy it, so if you do subscribe, hit the bell notifications icon and drop a like on this video if you're hyped for Kai Havertz coming to Chelsea. Right, if you've been sleeping under a rock, Kai Havertz, is an attacking midfielder who can play as a striker, more of a false nine as well. He can play as an inside eight. He can play as a number 10. He can even be deployed out wide as an inside forward. An incredibly versatile and exciting attacking player. He scores, he assists, he carries the ball, he uh, play makes. He does it all, boys and girls. Right, so let's hear the announcement from the journos first. Remember, this news doesn't come from me. It comes from what the journalists are saying. First up, let's look at the tweet from Fabrizio Romano. Kai Havertz to Chelsea. One step away then, here we go. Total agreement to be reached on the next hours with Bayer Leverkusen. Last bid going to be accepted. 80 million euros plus 20 million euros add-ons as final fee. Last details and paperwork times. Sounding pretty good so far, but it gets better. Underneath said tweet, Fabrizio Romano then says, New bid submitted three days ago. Bayer Leverkusen told Chelsea last night they're going to accept. Same today this morning with Havertz himself. Paperwork's time is now on. Christian Ford then said his one-liner quoting this tweet saying very true and then Fabrizio Romano said those three magic words underneath said tweet here we go the main man Jan has also just tweeted this rehavers Chelsea pay Leverkusen 80 million euros now add-ons 10 million based on how Chelsea do in the Champions League in the next five years 10 million based on the titles Chelsea win in that same five year period. Pretty darn good! So Chelsea actually playing 72 million pounds for Kai Havertz up front and you know less than whatever 20 million euros is in pounds that's on performance based add-ons so it's not a later fee it's very, it is performance based add-ons which is actually really really good for Chelsea. 72 million pounds for Kai Havertz He's wicked! Bloody excellent. Havertz himself has agreed a five-year deal with Chelsea Football Club and Frank Lampard's Blues, which is excellent. You know, you wouldn't want any uh, less than that, really. I know some players sign a four-year deal, but five-year deal's perfect. Mwah. And it's just an incredible scene. So let's talk about the player himself. Now, Kai Havertz, once interviewed, said that he prefers his most favoured position is in an attacking eight role on the right-hand side. This is obviously perfect for Frank Lampard's system, and you'd bet your bottom dollar that Frank Lampard has taken time to talk to Kai Havertz to explain his plans, just as he did before the signings of both Timo Werner and Hakim Ziyech. Only speculating here, but I'd imagine this would be a massive factor in getting Kai Havertz to agree to the transfer, finding out how he would fit into Frank Lampard's Chelsea plans. So, in Frank Lampard and Chelsea's midfield, you could have your CDM, left centre mid could be occupied by Mason Mount, Ruben Loftus-Cheek, maybe Mateo Kovacic considering who we're playing, or indeed Kovacic could play the CDM, or Kante or whatever, or Billy Gilmore or Jorginho, whatever. Right centre mid, baby! Kai Havertz, Chelsea's record signing. 
But it doesn't stop there. Frank Lampard's recurring theme with his transfers, and indeed the way he's played this season that's just ended, is tactical versatility. Players moving into different positions, and Frank knowing that he can trust them to either tuck in and fill in for another player that goes forwards, or indeed just have different tactical plans for different opposition. Like I said, Kai Havertz can play as an inside forward. He can play as your sort of generic number 10 behind the striker. He can play as a second striker. He can also play as a striker. He's tall, he's over six foot, he can score headers, but he can also link the play very well, play a little bit deeper in the hole and kind of play as a false nine. Now, Chelsea do have a very strong midfield as it is and bringing in this player, Chelsea, people might think, do Chelsea really need him? But the truth is, even though we've got, got loads of good midfielders, we do lack that sort of offensive prowess coming from midfield. If you've looked at when Pulisic, I know he's a winger, but for example, attacking creativity, when he's on and off the pitch, it's pretty drastic. We really miss him. So to have a player like Kai Havertz, I know Ziyech is also going to offer loads of offensive output as well, but someone like Kai Havertz driving from midfield, getting into the box, scoring and creating is massive for Chelsea. In terms of Chelsea's other midfielders, they shouldn't feel threatened. Sure, he's going to come in and start his Chelsea's record signing, but really then cause a disharmony within the squad and within the midfielders. This should ascend the quality, ascend the mood at Chelsea Football Club to a better greatness, to a better developing team. It should really only excite the players. I've used this example before, but I'm going to use it again. When Frank Lampard was at Chelsea, Chelsea signed Michael Ballack. Did that put Frank Lampard off? No, it didn't. It made him better. He ascended his game. He progressed. You could say the same thing about Kai Havertz and Mason Mount, the German and the Englishman. The story repeats itself. It happens again. Incredibly exciting times. Obviously, this is not official from the club yet. It's from all the journalists, but when they're all saying the same thing, it's pretty much done. It's agreed. Incredibly exciting. I mean, if I end up with egg in my face after this, so do all those journalists. But as far as I'm concerned, the deal is done and it's a pretty darn good deal. How do you feel about this? Get down in the comment section below. I want everyone to express their thoughts and opinions on this gargantuan and exciting transfer. Obviously, there's more news to come with the official announcement, the Thiago Silva deal, the Ben Chilwell deal. Hell, we might even buy a goalkeeper. Exciting times. Get in the comment section below. I'll be hanging out down there with you guys, reading what you have to say. If you've enjoyed this video, drop a like. And you know what, man? You can bet your bottom dollar I'm going to be talking about this story on Jan's Yard. <laughs> Later on this afternoon on the live show chatting balls do go subscribe to Jan's Yard because I want to talk about this massive story and you can come and talk to me about it live so make sure you subscribe to Jan's Yard I'll leave a link in the top of the description but man this story is huge Chelsea are absolutely making moves this transfer market Everyone deserves great credit. Frank Lampard does for the allure of bringing the players in. Marina Granovskaya is doing some great negotiating with all clubs, whether it's getting Ben Chilwell down from 85 million to 45 million or 50 million, whether it's Hakim Ziyech for 33 million pounds. Granted, Timo Werner was a buyout clause, but that's where Frank Lampard comes in. He allured him to the club like he did with Ziyech. Everyone's doing magnificent work, and I do include Petr Cech in that, who, you know, who went to negotiations, who speaks all the different languages, who helped Frank Lampard out in this. And of course, Chelsea's owner, Roman Abramovich, who seems just as invested as ever in Chelsea Football Club. He's putting his money where his mouth is. He wants Chelsea to do well. If Chelsea secure all these signings that we've talked about recently, which is looking highly likely, they will be a, you know, a force to be reckoned with next season. Fair enough, Frank's still new to coaching. It's a new squad. Chelsea might not be expected to challenge to the title, but they can be expected to play some excellent attacking football, man. So we move. Enjoy the football, and I'll see you soon. With that bad boy tuck I'ma get it how I'm living I'ma walk the walk Outline my lines I rap through thought Body bag the verse Outline the chuck In my life seen trouble Hustle on the double Silence on the trigger Like my pick got a muzzle Yo chick like to guzzle Bad boy stay in trouble I only love this paper Sorry I don't I love me baby